have you checked the Hey everyone, welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird, here to do a new BAM Horror unboxing for you guys, as well as show off a couple of things that I got, um, two of which we'll probably end up covering on the channel down the line. The two that we may not are, I had to pick up the newest volumes of uh, Batman Earth One Volume 3. This is a whole side universe. Um, it's a whole different Batman relaunch. Uh, done by an author named Jeff Johns, who has gotten a lot of heat recently, but um, I'm a completionist, so I have to have the third volume. And then I also got Earth One Volume 2 of the Green Lantern series. So they've basically rebooted Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, and the Teen Titans in this Earth One setting. Um, it's just its own little side continuity. It hasn't replaced the main continuity or anything But if you're looking for interesting kind of different modern takes on everything um, That's uh, that's where you can get those then the next thing I got is the newest volume um, well, it's I guess it's an epilogue volume called sweet tooth the return so most of you are probably aware of sweet tooth because of the show that came out in 2021 and you know i didn't even include that on our list but uh because of that show a lot of people became interested in the original source material where i think it was six volumes of sweet tooth and then just this past year he put out this uh six issue follow-up that takes place a long time after the main series so um this is very interesting so far i'm halfway through it but um jeff lemire is 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 a wonderful storytelling talent so I was happy to pick this up and this one we may cover down the line the last thing that i picked up outside the bam box is something called luther strode the complete sorry series <laughs> the complete series this is three different volumes of a book called uh it's the legacy of luther strode uh, let's see i'm sure it's here the strange talent of luther strode um let's see it says on the back here the legend of luther strode and the legacy of luther strode so it's the entire story of this character luther strode who is basically it starts off as a nerd that gets picked on a lot that sends away for this book called the hercules method like it's one of those old timey comic book send away things um, that you'd see in like comics from the 70s 60s and sometimes even 80s uh, but uh, but this kid sends away for it and starts doing the work and it turns out that it's a mystical book that imbues some that get it with actual powers of you know herculean uh sorts so he becomes super strong and uh is able to do crazy things with his body including catching things with his muscle fibers inside his skin so if someone tries to shoot him uh the muscle fibers can catch the bullets and spit them back out so it's it's really cool but what i really like about it and the reason why i'm very tempted to cover it on the channel is i mean this is just one the, it's a very horror filled book i mean it does not shy away from gore in any way shape or form um <laughs> i mean just look at this he's literally reaching in and strangling someone with their own intestines at one point um the the second book in the series was amazing because uh it introduced this character depicted on this cover right here this guy is one of the sickest most depraved comic book characters that i've ever actually had the pleasure of reading if you want to call it that but it also leads to one of the absolutely one of the things so i've read a lot of comics in my life guys a lot of horror comics especially uh, because of the show and everything but there is something that sticks in my mind uh, you know certain scenes will stick in my mind because they're so horrific and he managed to do something i'm not going to show it for very long but this is a aftermath of a mall massacre and it is like a where's waldo of depravity it is so crazy and so much detail goes into a lot of it and there's two particular details that really got me when i was looking at that particular scene and um 
anyway, you guys owe it to yourselves. If you're a horror fan or just a, a over the top gory action fan, you owe it to yourself to get this. Right now, it's on sale uh, for thirty bucks uh, on Amazon instead of the forty dollar cover price. It is worth every penny. And again, it's eighteen issues total, so that's a pretty good deal. It's like two bucks a book um, when you when you break it down that way. But it's all in this one convenient collection so definitely if you're into gory horrific you know uh, stylized violence uh, this is definitely a book that you're going to want to add to your collection i already read the entire thing and i loved it i read it basically over the first two days that i received it now that being done let's get into this month's bam box so i'm guessing this is the december bam box and the last one was november I can never tell though because they're always on a little bit of a delay but let's get into it and see what we got this month so i'm going to pull the paper out as usual yeah and let's reach in and first item is let's do the pin first so what do we have this time oh okay it's a nosferatu i think because he's got the teeth but i don't know quite which representation it doesn't look like the original nosferatu it looks like almost a parody version of nosferatu um yeah i don't know we'll check the card at the end to find out where exactly that's from um did we get a, oh we got another pin we got a bonus oh right because one of the pins was missing last month that's right okay so one of these was last month and one of them is this month's pin the other one everyone will recognize michael myers pin shadowed on one side looks a little strange on a pin but it still looks pretty cool uh so michael myers pin along with the nosferatu pin so they they sent the makeup pins this month um let's do the art card uh the art card for this month is disturbing i really like it i'm not sure exactly what that's from um i don't know if that's supposed to be like goosebumps or something else uh we'll we'll find out when i check the card but that's a pretty cool little art card uh, art by Chris Meeks. God, I need glasses. Okay. Uh, let's get to the first bit of flat art. So again, every BAM box has a signed uh, art print and then a signed actor's signature uh, or an actor's signature on a press sheet. So this is really cool. This is the art print. Wow, what an interesting choice. It's Chucky, but with like Coraline button eyes. That's super interesting. I really dig that take. Honestly, he's got the Jack in the Box behind him. The I don't know if that's supposed to be. You know what? That might actually be. Look, it is. It's the sorry Jack Chucky's back guy right there. That's so appropriate that I have that sitting right there to compare it to. So yeah, it's the sorry Jack Chucky's back Jack in the Box with a button eye Chucky. It's, I wonder if. What an interesting... So I'm building a headcanon where this didn't go the way Chucky was planning. The, the thing dove out of the way uh, and like Toy Story style and then fought back and ended up succeeding and buttoning Chucky's eyes. Ooh, I really like this piece of art. I really, really like this. I don't think this is going to end up in anyone's boogie box because I really, really like this. This is so dope. All right, so that's a really great piece of art. There's another couple little items. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, no. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to be careful about this. We got a name badge for Deputy Dewey Riley from Scream. The new Scream. Oh, oh man. Those of you that have seen the movie know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Deputy Riley. Okay, so we got Dewey's name badge. <laughs> that's cool. It's a cool item. I will say that's a cool item. Um, that is just kind of neat just to have, you know, on a shelf uh, as a, uh, a little keepsake. So I like that. I like the Deputy Dewey name badge from the sheriff. Wow, we got another pin. I wonder if they just overstuffed pins because, like, and it's a different... It's a different Nosferatu one. Look at this. They're both the same style, but I got a different version of it. I wonder if I got like overstuffed in the box or something. Um, let's see. What do we got here? 
All right, so the celebrity is there, and January giveaway. Nope, nothing there. Um, okay, so let's do... Oh, it's a two-part thing. Oh, you got the Woodsboro badge, too. So you got Dewey's badge and his name tag. Wow, that's great for someone that wants to cosplay as Deputy Dewey. Honestly, that's pretty cool. Um, I like that. I, I'll probably keep this Woodsboro badge. That's pretty dope. I mean, I guess it would make sense to keep it with Dewey's thing, but... That badge looks pretty sweet, guys. Look at this. They really went for it. It's all engraved. It's hard metal. I dig it. I dig it. All right. And the last item this month is going to be the celebrity signature. Oh, wow. It's a Gremlins one sheet signed by the director, Joe Dante. That's pretty awesome. That's really cool. He, he directed, of course, one and two. Uh, but, uh, but that's awesome. Joe Dante, the actual director's signature. Wow, that's super cool. What a good box. This was a really good box, honestly. Uh, wonderful celebrity signature, wonderful bit of art signed by the artist, uh, Chris Meeks. Shout out to Chris Meeks for this, because that is really cool art. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Is this Chris? This is Chris Meeks. That's also really cool art. This artist uh, will be revealed on the card. <laughs> so this artist is Ken Salinas. Uh, so, yeah, Chris Meeks did this one. Ken Salinas did this one. So... Uh, go and patronize whichever one tickles your fancy. But let's see. Yeah, the celebrity autograph, uh, Joe Dante. Uh, so that is great, the director. And it looks like we could have had a number of other one sheets, but we got the gizmo one up there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the collector's pin, this month inspired by the silent horror film Nosferatu. Okay, it is inspired by Nosferatu. They're just yellow instead of kind of the pale look. And it looks like be on the lookout for the Chase Glitter set. Okay, so that's, I don't know what that means, but I got both of them. So I don't know if they meant to send both or not, but that's pretty cool. The Artist Select card. Oh, this is an, okay, so this is from X-Files. I'm sure a lot of you were yelling at me. This is Mr. Chuckle Teeth from X-Files. Um, that's what uh, Chris Meeks drew there. So I've never watched X-Files. I think I watched the first two seasons and uh, stopped. But, um, yeah, Mr. Chuckle Teeth, Chuckle Teeth from uh, X-Files. That's what that is. And then the prop. This month's prop is a replica badge and name badge from the popular flick Scream. So, yeah, that is this month's BAM box. It was a, a chock-full month. I mean, even taking away one of the pins to cover last month, the Michael Myers pin, we got two pins, two prop items, one select card, and two bits of signature that's way more items than they usually put hmm i don't know if it was a mistake or what if it was just a really good box but that's what i'll call it a really good box awesome so guys the link to bam horror boxes is down in the description if you sign up through that link then we get a little bit of recognition so we'd appreciate that uh, but yeah i still think bam box is worth the uh, worth the money at this point because you know, some boxes are a little bit hit and miss, but some boxes really knock it out of the park like that one. So why don't you guys let me know in the comments down below which items you are most into. And yeah, I, I did that because I was concerned about giving away anything for the new movie. So I'm just uh, stepping carefully. So thanks very much for watching, you guys. Thank you to all of our patrons for supporting the channel. Uh, some of our boogie box patrons are going to end up with some of those items. So, uh, thank you to all of you for your support until next time. I've been Cecil Laird and remember stay scared.